Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is square root of x plus square root of y is equal to 10. Square root of xy is equal to 10. To find the values of x and y from these two systems of equations. Now, let's start by here, we'll let this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then, we'll start from equation 1, whereas equation 1, it is this which is square root of x plus square root of y is equal to 10. Then from this equation, we'll square in both sides. Now from this part here in the left side, this here will apply the rule. So therefore, we'll apply the rule. This part here is in the form of a plus b bracket square, which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Then from this rule, we'll apply this form. So a square, it will be square root of x square. So here, square root of x, then bracket square, plus b square, it will be this square root of y, bracket square, then plus 2ab, it will be 2 times square root of x times square root of y. So square root of x times square root of y is equal to 10 square, it is 100. Then in the next step, from here, this square root will cancel square, so it will be x, then plus, square root will cancel square, so it will be plus y, then plus 2, square root of x times square root of y, it is square root of x, y, is equal to 100. Then from this part here, square root of x, y is from equation 2, which is this is equal to 10. So into here, we'll substitute 10, then our equation will be x plus y, plus 2, here it is 10, so here bracket 10 is equal to 100. Then it will be x plus y plus 2 times 10, it is 20, is equal to 100. Then it will be x plus y is equal to, we we'll take 20 to this side, so it will be 100 minus 20, it is a 80. Then this will call this equation 3. Then in the next step, we'll deal with equation 2, whereas equation 2, it is this square root of xy is equal to 10. So from square root of xy is equal to 10, into here, we'll square in both sides. So into here, this square root will cancel square, then it will be xy is equal to 10 square, it is 100. Then we'll make x the subject. So we'll divide by y in both sides. So this and this will cancel, then it will be x is equal to 100 over y. So this here, we'll call this equation 4. Then in the next step, from equation 3, whereas equation 3, it is this x plus y is equal to 80. So from x plus y is equal to 80, We'll substitute equation 4 into this equation 3. So from equation 4, it is in terms in terms of x. So we substitute x, which is this 100 over y. So from here, x, it is 100 over y. Then plus this y is equal to 80. Then to remove this denominator of y, we'll multiply in both sides by y. So here, into this side, we multiply by y. And here, we multiply by y. So it will be y times 100 over y. So y times 100 over y plus y times y. So y times y is equal to 80 times y. Then into here to simplify this and this will cancel. So it will be 100. Then plus y times y, it is y square is equal to 80 times y, it is 80y. Then, in the next step, here, we'll start with this y square. So, it will be y square. Then, we'll take 80y to the left side. So, it will be minus 80y. Then, plus this 100 is equal to 0. Then, in the next step, from here, this quadratic equation. So, we'll apply quadratic formula to find the values of y. So from quadratic formula, which is y is equal to 
negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be y is equal to negative b is coefficient of y which is negative 80. So bracket negative 80 bracket plus or minus square root of b square it will be negative 80 bracket square then minus 4 times a a is coefficient of y square which is 1 so times 1 times c is this 100 so times 100 then over 2 times a which is 1 then it will be y is equal to negative times negative negative 80 to be positive 80 plus or minus square root of negative 80 square it will be 6400 6, minus 4 times 100 to be minus 400 then over this time this is 2 then it will be y is equal to 80 plus or minus square root of 6400 minus 400 it is 6400 minus 400 it is 6000 then over this 2 then it will be y is equal to 80 plus or minus 6 from here 60 60 4 times 15 it is 60 so square root of 6000 is same as 4400 times 15 because here 4 times 15 it is 60 then these two double zeros they are here then over this 2 then it will be y is equal to 80 plus or minus square root of 400 it is 20 then times this square root of 15 then we divide by 2 in this part and this part so here over 2 and here over 2 so it will be y is equal to 80 divided by 2 is 40 plus or minus 20 divided by 2 it is 10 square root of 15 then it will be from here we have two solutions of y because of plus or minus so the first value of y is equal to when it is positive it will be 40 plus 10 square root of 15 and the second value of y is equal to when it is negative to be 40 minus 10 square root of 15 then in the next step from here to get x from equation this equation here from this equation 3 which is x plus y is equal to 8 so from x plus y is equal to 8 now to get x it will be equal to we take y to this side so it will be 80 minus y then from here this is y1 so x1 is equal to 80 minus bracket y which is y1 it is this so 40 plus 10 square root of 15 bracket then it will be x1 is equal to 80 we take negative inside the bracket so minus 40 here it will be minus 10 square root of 15 then it will be x1 is equal to 80 minus 40 it is 40 then minus 10 square root of 15 so from here we have 2 x1 comma y1 so x1 comma y1 which are the values of x and y is equal to x it is this 40 minus 10 square root of 15 comma y1 it is 40 plus 10 square root of 15 so 40 plus 10 square root of 15 so this is the first solution and from here this second solution here we have value of y2 now to get x2 from this x is equal to 80 minus y so from x is equal to 80 minus y then x2 is equal to 80 minus y which is this so bracket 40 minus 10 square root of 15 then it will be x2 is equal to 80 
take negative inside the bracket so minus 40 here to be plus 10 square root of 15 then it will be x2 is equal to 80 minus 40 it is 40 then plus 10 square root of 15 so from here we have two solutions value of x2 comma y2 so here x2 comma y2 here bracket is equal to x2 it is this 40 plus 10 square root of 15 comma y2 it is 40 minus 10 square root of 15 so 40 40 minus 10 square root of 15 so these are the second solution now from here you can see the value of x which is 40 minus 10 square root of 15 into the first solution it is the value of y into the second solution and the value of y into the first solution it is the value of x in the second solution thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye